come back <coughs> all right Th this is not a tutorial just showing you how I manage the partition on this three device that putting Windows 11 all right on the left one Poco X3 Pro the second one LG G8 Q and the last one Poco F1 64 GB on the Poco wow lagging on the LG G8 X to and uh, 1 to 8 GB and 256 GB on the Poco X3 Pro <coughs> excuse me ah so lagging the because this uh, camera connect to the PC via Wi-Fi I don't want it to disturb the ADB alright Poco X3 Pro Poco F1 Oop. and LG G at X for this LG G at X you need to unlock the bootloader and flash the modified bootloader the ABL the link for the ABL in the XTA forum why yeah why this PC right at the moment I'm using the recovery partition on this two device Poco X3 Pro and Poco F1 that recovery as a UFI boot I'm booting uh, I'm using the recovery to boot to Windows on this uh, Poco X3 Pro and Poco F1 so you flash the UEFI image to the recovery partition when you boot to recovery your recovery no more but your recovery become Windows on Poco X3 Excuse me, somebody calling me. Recovery <coughs> and on LG G8 X, this one, <coughs> if you don't know how, hit a pen in the ass to work with this device. But if you know how, well, it's easy as hell to boot into Windows you need to flash the UFI boot image to the active partition so I'm restarting it to boot load this is a modified boot loader G at X, G at uh, LG B50, Sam bootloader. Right on this uh, Poco X3 Pro. Just for brightness and rotation. Auto rotate. Oh, come on, camera. See, auto rotate. The sensor are working on this Poco X3 Pro. Only the sound 
no audio Poco F1 don't switch off it because the lock screen the touch screen will not work if you off it so you put back to windows just restart or power off because there is no uh, recovery inside this two point the recovery image already replaced by the UEFI image so when it restarts it will go straight to Android GB50 just flash the UEF UEFI image to the active slot active slot at the moment are B so pass boot I'm going not uh, I'm not going to flash I'm just boot it When you boot, when you restart, the boot image will be gone. It will be at default again. So I'm just booting it. This is the latest uh, UEFI image for this uh, LG G attack. It's booting now. Because at the moment this LG G at X, the recovery, all of the recovery, the custom TWRP, not working on ADB. <laughs> so I got no comment on that. Whether it's good or not, it's up to you. You want to use it. So Poco F1, you reboot it back, it will be straight to Android, same as this LG G8X. Wait. Oh, why it's straight to the Mm, already flashed to the boot right never mind about Poco after this I settle it on LG G at X for Malaysian user you can contact me why via discord free of charge I will guide you how to do the partition how to flash the windows brightness ok on this LG G attack everything ok resizing except auto rotate the sound also okay on this LG attack the audio shut down okay Poco, the recovery already. Let 
refresh the recovery on Poco F1. Poco F1. Bayu, Bayu. Beryllium. This is a modified recovery for POCO F1. So, F1 TWRP mod. Go back the uh, Android. So this LG G8 don't have a recovery partition. Just remember that. Also got two slot, so you can flash any recovery in the LGG at X. The recovery are using the RAM disk inside the boot image. Whatever boot image you use, that recovery will occupy the RAM disk. So after every custom ROM you flash. You have to flash the recovery, otherwise it will be using the stock recovery on the boot image. So at the moment, the recovery for this G8X, uh, well, no comment. So I'm using my own modified recovery to boot into bootloader. Just hold the volume minus and plug in your cable to boot to boot loader this is the boot loader remember lg g at x don't have a recovery partition so in order to use the modified recovery for it must put Boot, just boot it temporarily. Why are you? Did I not be? Okay, let's try the orange spark. I got two. It's booting now. It's booting the orange spark recovery. For this LG G X, because this device a bit pen in the edge, doing the parted part. So this this is the modified recovery, same as the Poco X3 Pro. On my F1 also, I modified the recovery, right? What happened to my camera? Why it suddenly gone? Is it because 
so this debugging now the g8 neck are uh, inside orange box recovery go to mount disable the mtp mount already disable first thing you need to do disable it on any recovery because you need it uh, to connect to the PC so we can view the the two partition we create because last time we install window inside the pond we push the PE file the pre-installed windows to the pond so inside the pond we install the windows that up and in the edge because the screen size are very tiny so now it's all on your PC okay now you don't need to push the parted part to the pond because it is already inside the recovery so just ADB shell MH2LM is a code for LGG attack. So if you want to mount the button, but developer, so the block always mount the SDA as the there are many block of partition inside the pond six maybe five or six SDA SDB SDC D and E oh. go on again so you want to print it just enter P this is the partition inside my LG G at X on uh, Aliot Poco F3 36 partition on the Loon 0 uh, SDA SDA so total size of the partition are 1 to 8 GB the last block for user one to six this is the total block that are usable one to six so the last one are one to six this is the last address the starting address are from 34.5 gb to one to six this is the windows your user data start from 18.9 to 33 so you minus the last address minus the beginning of address the total are 15.0 this is just a rough figure the actual figure uh, maybe less that's one in binary this one I'm not so sure but you see the address don't overlap just follow the sequence 629, 629, 629, 629, all in order. So you don't corrupt the Mac partition to the partition you're going to flash. Let's say you flash the DSP. This is a FAT32. It's better in FAT32 because the styles for the file a bit small if you flash a big file more than 4 GB so it will reject you resize it depend on your need that the let's say I give you a sample
the original partition for this uh, LG G attack uh, like this it's on 30 30 18 .9 GB 2 1 2 6 GB it's like that and extension 4 and no don't put any extension on it otherwise it can be read by your PC <laughs> so the original user data are like this 18.9 to 126 GB let's say you want to resize it how much the size for your Android user data you want that's important how much you use let's say you want your Android at least 20 GB so you resize it start with 18.9 GB you plus 20 so 29.9 GB this is your new user data so the next partition you're going to make uh, ESP always use the last two for ESP and system don't use the user data at the last partition so your next partition you're going to make uh, start with 29.9 GB the size minimum are 500 megabyte so you plus 500 it's become we give it uh, let's say for safety we give it 1 GB easy to so 30.9 GB this is the ESP partition so the last one uh, for Windows start from 30.9 GB up to you look at the partition table the last one is 1 to 6 so 1 to 6 GB this is your Windows partition that's up to you how you divide it if you more on Android at least uh, 40 GB for Windows at least so my Android are uh, 20 GB ESP 1 GB so the rest are for Windows Windows around 80 80 plus 90 80 plus GB lah When you make the partition, first uh, you have to delete the RM30. Uh, this are user data because we are using user data only. Because that uh, last partition, the biggest size one. The other partition, please don't disturb. Just remember that. <coughs> So you start with RM30, you enter and then press P, you delete it and make a new one. So make part user data. You see, you start with a uh, eighteen point nine. Twenty nine point nine. 
It's up to you, whatever size you want. Enough for your Android. Extension 4. Just like that. For the next one, Mac Touch. This one for ASP. Pat 32. Start with 29.9. GB. You plus one GB, so thirty and nine GB. So the last one, Mac, but Windows. So the format are NTFS. The size start from the. 3.9 GB, remember big capital letter. If it in MB, capital letter MB. So up to the last one. This is how you repartition. After, after the set, you set on the ESP partition. Alright, this one for. Where is my camera? You are on. What happened? This one. Oh. The Wi-Fi problem. Alright, the phone are still in uh, after that after you do the partition you go to wipe you format your user data this one for your Android after that you reboot okay Now we're going to connect it to the PC. ADB cell MSC dot sh thank you for the person who create this script to mount the drive after that like that you connect and disconnect the cable connect again now the phone uh, storage two storage that we create uh, already mount see this is a uh, windows Actually, you can open it inside the pc there is nothing much see desktop 
that thing still. After that, to format or install, you can use this part to mount and format it. Open the terminal as admin. In this part, very, very careful. Don't create partition or delete partition in this part. This all the disk inside my PC. I always look at the last one. So select this nine and list all the partition inside there. This ah. this is the system. the ESP partition and this is a primary the Windows partition if you want to mount it you select the select partition 31 you assign letter whatever letter to it if you want S you put S you want K you put K ok so there is another way up to to mount by using this genius this also can be used also I'll be careful with this uh, tool don't simply erase so the last one this is the last one Linux partition so 30 over here on the this part you will see the number at 31 because one uh, partition are invisible so you can right click or just over here format you select the file system better to whatever you want with this name you can use your name as long you remember that this partition are for the BCD partition ESP the boot configuration for the Windows you assign letter whatever letter you want K or X. Just remember after that, when you assign the boot configuration to the partition, you remember which letter you use for this ESP. Right, same for this uh, Windows partition. Right click also can, you can use over here also can. NTFS, Windows change the right letter whatever type letter you want as for me I always use W Windows System S it's up to you to rename it to Vayu whatever as long you know that partition are for Windows if you use K just use K when you use the DISM you deploy the image to the partition remember the partition letter which drive is it using if you use J it's J if you use K, K alright this is example for this uh, LG G8 X next is use the X3 Pro. So this one already done. Why? What happened to my camera? Sorry. You 
it because of the fun. Allow USB debugging. So, reboot to Ah. System. Sorry about the camera. It's a free app on the phone that's causing it because of the advertisement. So, X3 Pro. to bootloader because we need to flash the recovery since my recovery partition for this uh, dang this is what I hate Poco X3 in passport. My recovery I already use as a partition to boot Windows. That recovery already flashed with uh, boot UFI boot. Oh, you can uh, put it in your SD card. You flash that boot. You still got your recovery. Well, it's up to you. So now I'm going to boot just boot not flashing fast boot the recovery orange spock or twrp whatever he had a twrp just boot not flash Also, to view the drive in <coughs> LG GX, you also can boot the LG GX mass storage. That one modified by somebody to view the mass storage of inside the LG GX. I'm using the modified orange box and TWP for the LG GX. Why it's not putting? So maybe I'm flashing the wrong image. Don't worry when you flash a wrong image on a fast boot. Don't <coughs> sorry, don't flash, just put. If you want it permanent, just flash it. Fast <coughs> put, flash put. No. because the recovery partition already used by the UFI so you flash it 
Don't worry. Flash recovery. Let's say we use this orange box. Android. link for this recovery will be in the description also the original link by the developer who developed the UFI image and the driver for it same also on this uh, LG eh, sorry POCO X3 Pro Check that device. Right, add the shell. Okay, it's in edit shell now by you. So you mount the but that file because it's already inside the recovery where is it just mount the SDA partition only because the user data are inside the LUN0 or SDA partition this one 34 partition on POCO X3 Pro in recovery same as I explained before how to resize it the last partition are two by five this is the oh sorry mm, five two by five of space 243 10 GB the 255 12 GB gone <laughs> I'm wrong there should be 255 the last one this one never mind if you look at the original partition this is the original one 255 Hmm. Rugi to show how many I lost because I'm using two for three here. If you put less, never mind because the rest are emptied. Should be two five five. This one. This is the last one. Two two one. This is already done one. Two, five, five. Right? I can fix that. M thirty four is gone. So make what for Windows and DFS start with twenty one and seven CD. This is the last one, 2107 GB, up to 255 GB. Right. 
right Mac part window and TFS 21 up to 255 right okay. now it's already bigger 233 just now 221 12 GB wow but that 12 GB doesn't matter just less is okay don't put it more you will overlap the the other partition so you want to format it in the right have to quit this one and exit add himself so now we're going to mount the MSC script MSC dot SH SH still in uh, fast boot. Okay connect and disconnect connect again bigger now w the s already man also so using this part Because it already has the other one, we already resized but didn't format it just now. You see, if I format it, everything inside is gone, just resize. But we, you will get an error if you're using it. So, go to the S. This is how you format it. Oh. My camera, I'll see. How much? Make sure no other drive using this type. Otherwise, you formatting wrong partition. Fat thirty two or ESP. Now the Windows. L also can now it's empty K and L K Kushari L my wife name so if you want it to be S you can change the drive letter Double format. Be sure everything is clean. Yes. And highlight it or right click. Change to W and TFS. By this way, you don't have to use the this part. You don't mount the virtual drive because this S is in fat 32. After you disconnect the pawn, it will become a virtual drive. It's hard to remove it. Only you restart the PC, then it will be gone the virtual drive if you mount it using this genius after you disconnect your phone it will be gone it's not as a virtual drive in this this part it become virtual drive because of the fat 32 
also you can format it over here same thing also at 32 over here also can be format because it's now as a normal drive and PFS remember that FAT32 and PFS after that you install Windows to the W partition install driver to the W partition and then create PCD the boot configuration for the Windows inside this S after that reboot the phone that's it and if we hey my camera what happened to the connection because of this uh, using Wi-Fi <coughs> DB disconnect. Ah. So reboot the pawn to system. Booting back to Android. The app. This is a free app full of uh, where is it? I began advertisement. So the phone lost connection. What happened? Too many clients. The phone confused. already boot back to Android my windows already wiped formatted so installing the windows I already cover in another video uh, before this so do it at your own risk I'm not responsible if you break your device because if you wrongly doing it the figure remember the figure you must be careful with it if this is block A SDA block B another partition block C another partition if you corrupt the other blocks that mean you have to flash your pawn in E D L mode if you got the uh, authorized to flash it in E D L mode for this Poco X Pro that's good if you don't have so bring your pawn to the Xiaomi service center that's it for now the rest is up to you if you want to try it then go ahead untuk orang Malaysia kalau kamu nak cuba kamu boleh contact saya di discord 
free of charge nanti saya aja macam mana nak buat from Malaysian contact me in discord so I will teach you how to do it properly and safely ok that's it once again thank you for watching let's see my before I active in uh, YouTube this is what I do before before this I compile ROM and porting ROM 2017-16 2015 this is the first one I right know This is my post before in the year of 2014. Wow, how many years already? Nine years ago. This is Android KitKat 444 on Android. Yes, I'm starting at Android KitKat. Start putting the previous Android also do it but I'm not posting it because someone requests it from me then I do it alright, that's it thank you for watching see ya on the next video